What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to talk about jobs and specifically how to land a lot of jobs quickly by implementing these three things. That's talking, targeting, and tailoring. But before I get too far into the video, I just want to say, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell icon. That way you can be notified anytime we release some new content. Also, if you're interested in the parking lot striping business and you want to connect with a group of like-minded individuals who are already doing what you want to do and making thousands of dollars doing it, reach out to me. My number is in the description of my YouTube channel. We have created a community that you can have access to. And guess what? It's totally free. It doesn't cost you anything. And once you get inside, you're going to have access to over a hundred people that are already in the industry doing what you want to do and having great success at it. Now let's talk about how to land a lot of jobs quickly. I call it the three T's. First, it's talking, targeting, and tailoring. So number one, if you're going to land a lot of jobs quickly, you want to make sure that you're talking to the right people. I have people that reach out to me all the time. They've started their business, they have all the equipment, but they're having a lot of trouble getting customers. They're doing the legwork. They're handing out business cards, flyers, going in person, shaking hands, so on and so forth. But even though you might be doing all the legwork and investing a lot of time being the face of your business, if you're not talking to the right people, all the legwork that you're doing is vain. For example, when you go to a shopping center, and you see a lot of businesses in a condensed area, like in a shopping center, the chances are that the owner of those properties has outsourced the maintenance to a property management company. So if you're trying to target a specific business in a condensed area like that, the last thing you want to do is walk in that area, handing out business cards. Now I'm not saying that business cards are not effective, but the whole premise of landing jobs quickly is customer acquisition without too much invested time or money because you want to keep your cost per customer acquisition down so you can maximize your profits. And if you're spending a lot of time just to acquire one customer, that's going to severely minimize your profitability because the more time that you have to invest back into your business, the more profitable you can become. So you want to understand that talking to the right people is going to give you the solution to the problem that you might be having as it pertains to not being able to get a lot of business. Always make sure you're talking to the right people. Usually when you're dealing with a lot of businesses in a condensed area, when you call that property management company, usually there is someone who is the head of maintenance or uh, an accounts manager who actually manages that entire property. So just make sure that you're talking to the right people. But not only that, if you're going to land a lot of jobs quickly, you need to be targeting franchise owners. This is the first thing that I did and strategy that I implemented in my business early on to acquire a lot of customers. There's nothing wrong with acquiring a customer that has one property. Matter of fact, a lot of the jobs that you're going to do are going to be that way. But I kind of want to grab your attention and maybe shift your focus to another methodology. And that is targeting franchise owners. So imagine instead of targeting one person with one business, which I'm not saying it's not good. That is very good. Any business is good, right? But when you target a franchise owner, you can essentially land one customer with multiple locations. And that's what I did when I was first starting off my business. We landed Sonics and we landed Little Caesars. 
And all you have to do to target franchise owners is do a little bit of research. All I had to do was literally do a few minutes of research, find out who actually owned a lot of these Sonics that you see me restripe, make sure that I was actually talking to the right person. And then I closed the sale because I was actually able to contact the franchise owner directly. You have to understand that if you're going into these fast food restaurants and you're handing them a business card, they're serving hundreds of customers a day. Your business card is going to get set to the side. And then you wonder like, why am I not converting? I'm putting in all the legwork. That's because you're targeting the wrong person. You need to be targeting the franchise owners. So always, always, always make sure that you're doing the research. So if you're going to land a lot of jobs quickly, you need to be talking to the right people. You need to be targeting franchise owners. And lastly, you need to be tailoring your approach. Your sales pitch needs to be customizable. Everybody should have a basic foundation of what they're going to say when they approach the customer. You should already have it written down or scripted out in a generic sense. That way you can have some sort of outline to follow. But when you tailor your approach, it allows your sales pitch to become customizable. Because if you're talking to a property management company and the person who actually manages that account, your sales pitch is going to be different than it were if you were actually talking to the owner of the property who actually makes the decisions or the decision maker, the person who actually writes the check. The property management company is essentially what you would call the middleman. So if you're able to tailor your approach and make your sales pitch very customizable, depending upon who it is that you're talking to, this will allow you to become highly effective depending upon what strategic way you use in order to interact with your customer. Because if I'm actually talking to the decision maker, I'm willing to give a discount in certain areas, right? I'm willing to budge in certain areas in order to acquire the customer. Whereas if you're dealing with the property management company, they're the middleman in between them and the owner. So your approach needs to be a little bit different in your technique and then how you reach out to these people. Anyways, how to land a lot of jobs quickly. You can do so by implementing the three T's, talking, targeting, and tailoring. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you in the next one. All right.